Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho, Brian Kohlberger case. Is Dylan Mortensen on the right or wrong path? Dylan Mortensen, one of the surviving roommates from the Moscow, Idaho tragedy that occurred November 13, 2022. Four college students got brutally stabbed during the early morning hours. Brian Kohlberger arrested. There was two surviving roommates in that house, that 1122 King Road house, where these stabbings occurred. Dylan Mortensen being one of them, Bethany Funk the other. I'm on a path, and we're going to talk a little bit about is Dylan Mortensen on the right or wrong path? I say this because there is some controversy right now online regarding Dylan Mortensen and her recent sightings. Her recent sightings and videos and photos of Dylan recently partying with friends and also dancing with friends that were uh, having alcohol in the videos and what not, right? Now, this is one year, about one year after this tragedy occurred. Dylan Mortensen, a star witness in this case. Is she on the right or wrong path? The Daily Mail came out with an article, a recent article, and I want to show you this article and then we will further discuss. Check it out. This is a report from the Daily Mail. Idaho murder victim's roommate Dylan Mortensen is seen in costume dancing and partying with friends just weeks after her family revealed she suffers from survivor's guilt over her brush with accused killer Brian Kohlberger. And attached here are photographs of Dylan Mortensen seen partying. Mortensen, 21, she's not 21, she's actually 20, was one of two people to survive the November 13, 2022 murder of her four roommates at their Idaho home. One of the two Idaho students who survived the massacre at their shared house is emerging from her self-imposed isolation. New photos show a year after attack. Dylan Mortensen, 20, has been racked with survivor's guilt, according to her stepmom, and turned into a recluse staying at home and playing video games, according to her father. But newly emerged photos show her at a sorority initiation on September 15th with her University of Idaho friends, and at an October 31st Halloween party dressed in a gold sparky outfit. Patricia Monroe, Mortensen's stepmother, said earlier this month she had dropped out of the University of Idaho and switched schools so it was not clear whether she was back to visit or if she is still in the same college. So here you go, Dylan Mortensen, seen partying. What do you think? So Dylan Mortensen, partying with friends, and you would think that's actually a good thing, right? Possibly, you know, um, you know moving on with your life, that's what people do. But the controversy is, one, Dylan Mortensen is not 21, and it seems like some of the videos that are surfacing have alcohol in it, right? And I want to show you one of the videos right here that uh, Dylan Mortensen's friends post, their own friends that she's been partying with, posted on their own social media accounts. So clearly you see alcohol, but you see Dylan, it looks like she's having a good time. And you would say, you know, that doesn't mean you're on the wrong path, right? You are a victim in a, in a tragedy and you can't just bottle up and be isolated all your life. You got to have fun. You're a, you're a child. But at the same time, there's controversy centered around Dylan because one, the tragedy happened you know, with this, and it's assuming it's assuming that a, that house was a party house, and it was a party atmosphere, and Dylan got a lot of backlash in reference to not reporting the crime when it happened. Right, uh, eight hours later, the nine one one call, and people want to know why didn't Dylan call authorities? Also, just a few weeks ago, prior to these videos of Dylan with their friends partying, there was. Um, her parents, her family have spoken to the media and her family were saying that she was isolated and have survivor's guilt and was gaming. 
So people were wondering and they're confused, you know, who's telling the truth here or is, or, or is there, you know, you could do both. You could party and, you know, at, be, have survivor's guilt at the same time. Is there anything wrong with Dylan's behavior as far as one year later doing some of the things she's getting some controversy on in reference to party? Is that, a, is that is she on the right path or is she on the wrong path? And I'm walking down a path, and it's a beautiful path out here. No, but seriously, is Dylan on the right path or on the wrong path? None of us, I don't think anyone wants any of these surviving people and people centered around this case to fail. But I think some people are concerned, and some are not. Some are not. Some are saying that is Dylan Mortensen. She can do what she wants. That's her life. If she wants to party... And everything like that there's no harm but others are saying that could be detrimental or you know back to the old behaviors before that tragedy occurred 1122 King Road the Moscow Idaho tragedy do you think Dylan Mortensen uh, did anything wrong by partying and hanging out with friends do you think there's any harm to that or you think there could be a potential problem where she's headed down the wrong path or the right path? Is she on the right path? Is she on the right path to recovery? Or is she just navigating through the paths of life, right? Uh, remember, she's not 21, she's still young. What were you all doing when you were 20, 21? Apparently she's still in college getting an education she uh, recent reports that she left the University of Idaho and is now at another college uh, speculation it is Boise State or some college around Boise where she's from what's your thoughts on the situation regarding Dylan Mortensen um we don't want to see anyone you know fail also let me just stress you know point out that Bethany Funk is another surviving roommate don't see much of her. Um, I haven't seen any photos of her partying or doing anything wrong, you know, since this tragedy occurred. And I'm not saying Dylan Mortensen did anything wrong at all. Sharing what's going on because these two people are a extreme mystery to this case. Everyone wants to know what they have to say. And everyone is on their edge of their seat wondering what happened at that home. There's some people out there that still think that Bethany or Dylan are involved in the case. We haven't been putting that type of speculation on this channel, but it is out there on the internet. Do you think Dylan uh, should just continue to do her thing? Or do you think she might consider not posting photos of her, you know, partying and that sort of deal because it's optics and a, and a bad look. And with Dylan partying... Could that help or hurt the Brian Kohlberger uh, case, right? Brian Kohlberger's defense. They're going to point the finger at somebody and there's speculation that they could be pointing the finger at Dylan Mortensen saying Dylan Mortensen did this or undermining Dylan Mortensen's credibility saying that you know, she, she drinks. She's a partier. She didn't see Brian Kohlberger because she was under the influence. Something in that nature or nature of being traumatized um, when you're continuing to do stuff that you've been doing. But though we don't know if what she's been doing is wrong or not. This path goes to the ocean. So it looks like I took the right path. Did Dylan Mortensen take the wrong path or the right path? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I am JLR Investigates covering true crime. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.